Hi, beautiful. You look like a scrumptious piece of a vegan pie today. Thank you for being here. Your presence is always appreciated. Look at you, staring back at me. Look at us, gazing into each other's eyes. No place I'd rather be than here with you. Today we're doing something that I'm really excited about, which is reacting to mullets. Oh, something about mullets. They just, oh, they make me feel so warm and happy. When somebody has a mullet, it represents somebody who's artsy, not scared to take a little risk that might make them look ugly to a lot of people. I appreciate that it's not the norm, but I appreciate that it's becoming the norm. They're just wonderful on everybody and I just love them. So we're gonna watch some people with absolutely no hair experience cut a mullet into their hair. And a mullet is actually a technical haircut. It is quite difficult and can not be done well. Hopefully these people with absolutely no experience can pull it off. Let's see how good or how bad these DIY mullets come out today. Let's get into it. Okay, our first attempt at an at-home DIY mullet is by Seaweed Ho. Great name. This is called Cutting a Quarantine Mullet. Yay. I'm already happy. Please make me even happier than I am. Please, please, please. I managed to last three months in quarantine, lockdown, not having a job, whatever you want to call it, without messing with it. And I was like, oh, let me do a little half blonde, half brown moment. And uh, it kind of turned out awful. Yeah, kind of a fail. You need to go a little bit lighter next time you do that. More lightener, more bleach. But cute hair. I like the long hair on you and you know, you have beautiful hair. The mullet chronicles. I have realized. Beautiful that hair. I only clear it up. This is gonna look so good. good. Literally, I never ever, ever have it down. And I'm also worried that since I have it up so much that like my hairline is kind of thin. You have a beautiful well, hairline for a guy. Before I started putting it up 100% of the time, like however many months ago that was, I used to wear it behind my ears, but it was like a little shorter. Every guy that has long hair always wears it up all the time. And I get that because when I had long hair, I did the same thing. But it's so sad because I love when it's down. It looks so pretty. Like his hair looks so good. Stop putting it up, please. The back is disgusting. And it was actually longer. It was maybe like half an inch longer and I cut the other day just to try and give some dimension. Like I cut this a little shorter than the back. So I might as well do a mullet. Like I like putting my hair up. Like it makes me feel like fierce. So I'm gonna try and keep get that. Like a little slight bit of a mulletation in the back maybe. And I really hate when hair is over my ears. So I don't even know why I thought I wanted to have long hair. Oh, I just love long hair on guys. Like I really love it. Oh, it's too much. Wait, bitch, you're so fierce. Steal my channel, like take it from me. It's all yours because you are giving me everything right now. Like I want the indent to just sort of go like here-ish. Okay, so this also might be like super gross and chaotic, but I'm thinking about leaving like a little bit like this length of a braid. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so like fully look like an oh, I love that. That's so sick. Oh my god, he's gonna cut off so much hair in a second. <laughs> I love the okay, braids. I love the braid. You guys, I love this sh so much. This, is like the this video is for me. I just want to have fun today, okay? And I'm just gonna watch him do this. Oh my god, he's just going for it. Oh, no hesitation. Okay. That was like a year of wow. hair growth. Oh my god. Here we are now. Uh, yes. Gorge. Keep going, keep Gorge. going. I mean, his sectioning was a little scary. I mean, he did section. I'm happy about that. But, you know, I'm not really sure what the sectioning really was. I mean, he kind of just took a clump of hair and cut it all. And I mean, hopefully it kind of makes like a little bowl cut rounded moment in the front of his head. I don't have like a ton of hope, but I have a little bit left for him. Yo, he has a bowl cut now in the front of his hair and I'm obsessed. <laughs> Unhinged. <laughs> going I love it as long as he can make it work with the back of his hair I think it'll be perfect I don't know if he can do that but really we'll see you know <laughs> yes I mean it's definitely a lot right now you're gonna really need to perform surgery on this hair to make it work and we're just taking pieces and we're just chopping them off okay yeah I think it'd be mullet fantasy like honestly kind of hot am I the only one shoot it's not what are you doing? I haven't done anything for like five minutes. Um, I'm already missing pushing my hair back. Oh. Unfortunate. You poor thing. It was bleach all over from yesterday. This Wait, color with this cut is just screaming. Like ponytail. Wait, girl. Okay. I'm like, uh, help me. This is where I'm stopping for now. Oh God, what's going on now? My mom is gonna try and blend it a little. Bit. Mom, please help him. Hi, Hi mom. 
Yeah, it's kind of mullet. Yeah, but what do you think of it? Very mullety. <laughs> she said, I don't know why you did that to yourself. Don't. I don't know if I don't appreciate this. I don't, I shouldn't even be cutting your hair. This is what Mom and Alyssa did jointly. Don't put my name in it. <laughs> You're an evil, evil woman. Okay, what are we doing We're now? We're teaching it. <laughs> oh, ah! oh, this is so chaotic. Funny. Honestly, at this point, he really just needs a good haircut, like an amazing mullet haircut, and then an amazing color to go with it. And this can totally work. We can tie this all in. It can make sense. I know it. I'm confident in it. I'm wondering if this color that they're doing right now is going to pull it together. I am not sure. Is it going to turn even more orange? Maybe. Could be better, though. Right, I love it. Moment. It's uh, very hot up here, so I'm going to get the Oh, shower. we're going full on bleach. And Ooh, this is gonna be a look. Uh, bleach burn mullet. Oh god. Good morning, everybody. I quite literally look like the version <laughs> of white trash. I have a bleach blonde mullet now. I'm wearing an ill-fitting t-shirt. <laughs> and a oatmeal stain on. I wasn't expecting this. I guess that's where I'm leaving this hair saga. I may or may not have plans to to do a color on it. This angle right here, boy, is it getting hot in here or is it just your mullet? I told you, something happens to me when I see mullets. Like, hmm, ugh. So I'm obsessed with this braid on the side. You know, the color, not as obsessed with it, but I think that it weirdly, oddly enough, works with the mullet because the mullet is so fed up that it needs like a fed up color to go with it. It's really like rocker vibes. Like very like, you're way too cool for anybody. Like you're vegan, but like a very strict vegan. Like you hate people that aren't vegan. Like this is what this is giving me. And like you go and you like collect trash on the beach and stuff. And like, you're just like such a good person. That's what this haircut's giving me. And I don't know why. Beautiful. I'm it's off here. Thank you for spending your time viewing my pixels. Thanks for coming along. Viewing my pixels. So that concludes the video. If he did want to change it, I think, you know, going like a deep blue and maybe like doing the back purple or like a blue faded into purple would look so sick on him like so sick and his hair is at the perfect lightness in order to do that i'm sure you're watching go and get some blue and purple hair color and do it do your roots and mid sections of your hair blue and do the ends purple and magic will happen and you will be even better looking after that i mean i'm obsessed i think you look divine i think you look like a snackadoodle do and i very much approve of this look uh <laughs> y'all probably think i'm nuts because i am mostly because when people do like little things wrong with their hair i like bash them and i'm like oh my god it looks so crazy and then this guy does a ratchet ass mullet with orange hair and i think he looks great what does that say about me okay let's move on to the next person our next video is by crystal lindy and this is called cutting my own hair into a mullet and someone should have stopped me so it's not good we'll see what happens i am finally going to get myself a mullet let me just say right off the bat oh my god her makeup put that on my face i want that on my face i want to shave my eyebrows and do that can you do that for me i'm obsessed that looks so good also your hair color is magnificent 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 that's the word i'm looking for magnificent it's magnificent i love your hair color fuchsia oof always finds its way to my heart and i just love it so much yeah i could definitely just give myself some bangs however i always like to be a little bit too extra when it comes to my hair me too so well, not really right I'm now. I'm going to give myself a whole mullet because I like how it looks. This is gonna look so good on her. Like really, almost so probably too good hair. if she does it right, I which is questionable. Whoa, do. you do have a lot of hair. I'm happy that some of it is gonna be gone. It's a lot and it looks a little so damaged, just a little bit. Some tutorials of Brad Mundo. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a tutorial on how to cut a mullet, but he does have a tutorial on how to cut bangs and how to cut your hair in general. So I'm just going to combine those videos. Wow, that is quite the plan. And I don't know if that's exactly gonna work for you, but I hope I can help you. I actually had no idea if she was gonna follow my tutorials. And um, now I'm just like, oh, Okay, these are the sections I have right now. Those are beautiful. Honestly, I just gonna, I'm just gonna start cutting. Just do it. No, You're just gonna do no, it, girl. No so I actually have this like razor. Oh, yes. Those are so good and so easy to use. Mando used that too, and it looks very professional. That's a lot of length. <laughs> Gotta keep going. Keep going. That wasn't really a lot. I thought she was gonna go straight across. <laughs> what happened? I mean, it is gonna be way shorter, okay? Oh, good. 
good. I mentally prepare myself a little bit. So I'm starting off slow. I feel like that almost didn't do anything at all. Let me just cut some bangs. Oh my God, I just had a vision. Even though I think the mullet's gonna look amazing, imagine her with this exact haircut. You see where it's stopped right now? Imagine her with bangs and with the ends flipped out and like volume at the top. <gasps> Can I have that? Can you do that for me? I mean, yeah, I did watch Brad Mondo's video, but I'm not gonna lie. I forgot almost everything he said. Cool. cool. Don't they like sometimes twist the hair and then cut it? Yeah, you can do that. We're doing the twist. It just never really works out. And she took a lot off that time. Hell yeah. We're making progress. Okay, she's making that kind of rounded situation in the front, which I like. That way it gives her that mullety effect. You know, at least she has some kind of technique while she's doing this. It doesn't want to do the thing that I wanted to do. Whatever's going on right now is, is really cute. It'd be like way shorter. So let me just first do this. Kind of cute though. Oh, the bangs are so good. Oh my god, I actually really like how this looks right now. I think you should just leave it. I kind of don't want to cut a mullet anymore. But I told myself that I was gonna do it. I mean, the mullet's gonna look beautiful too. A very important decision that is going to affect me for the next couple of months. Longer. This is the risky part. Can she? So I think that's a follow the hairline and she literally cut it straight across. That's a big section. Are you sure you want to do that? So much hair. That's yeah. That's a lot. It took me so long to grow this hair out. Oh, well, at least we're using a razor. I, I like that better than the scissors. That way she doesn't get like a blunt end on her hair. Oh, we're using the scissors now. Oh, and we're going for it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. It's way too thick for this to look good. See, the thing with her is layering is so important because her hair is so thick that if you don't put layers in it, it's not gonna look like a mullet. A mullet is a very textured, layered haircut. I mean, it should be. I think I think mullets and shags always are a match made in heaven. Like you should always have kind of like a shaggy mullet. That way it makes it feel more modern. But yeah, I mean, if she doesn't cut layers, it's just not gonna look right. I hope she ends up doing that. I hope she ends up with layers at the end, please. But there's no way going back anymore. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's so much hair. Honestly, I have literally no idea how this works. I mean, mullets, there's so many variations of them, but I think you should like do an undercut on both sides, you know? I think that would look really nice. You just need to take off a lot more hair and layer it the f up. Oh my God, she's gonna do more. She's gonna do more. Oh, I can't watch. I can't watch. I can watch. I can't watch. I can watch. I'm gonna watch it. Maybe I should try to do like different layers at a time. I mean, that looks better. It's more rounded now. Still have all this hair over here. You need to like cut into that. Layer it the freak up. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. You can this do this. That I should definitely not have been doing myself. No, not at all. But okay. Oh no, I'm gonna go over here and cry. I feel like I need to take more. <laughs> same time i don't think that's a good idea i think you need to take more off also off the back i feel like it still doesn't really look like a mullet no it doesn't at all i feel like i could probably like cut some layers in my yes it, you know a little bit better okay here's the thing with a mullet you need layering like i said before the front can be rounded and like kind of a bowl cut but if you don't have the layering in the back it looks like two disconnected haircuts you need to connect that rounded layering you did in the front to the back does that make sense? So you have shorter pieces that are the same length as your bangs, kind of all around, but then you have the really long length on the ends. That's the difference. That's how you fix it. I think I'm just gonna stop right here. There's no way in hell that I'm going to be able to make this look better. Oh, this is where we're stopping. No. Oh my God, David Bowie. Is that you? Wait, I like it pushed back. What? <laughs> David Bowie. Yeah. Dang. So she ended up actually making another video trying to fix her messed up mullet. So she ended up following a tutorial to try and fix it. Let's just speed through this and see how it went, shall we? So she's cutting layering. If I'm also gonna like it or not. We're cutting layers. Oh yes, this is going to look so much better with the layering. Oh my God, she is cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting. Hopefully we have a good result. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like it is going a lot better now. This is going beautifully. I'm thinking all my other hair cutting videos. Wait, oh my God, this looks so good already. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. That actually. You're so 
Pretty. Looks really good. Okay, now she's getting layering in the back I'm and it's- sure. I just made myself some amazing layer. A little risky, but I think it looks amazing. I ruined the back of my head because honestly, I did not see anything that I was doing. Oh, it looks fine. <laughs> I'm slightly lying. Let's see the finished result. Oh. It is fun. And I like his hairstyle. Oh, I love it. Oh my God. Oh, Crystal, you pulled it together somehow. I really don't know how, but you look magnificent. And this is your haircut. 100% beautiful, fabulous. Oh my God, I love it. With the hair color, it's honestly just like one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Let's move on to our last video. Our last video is actually uh, by a channel called Last Looks. So that makes a lot of sense to me. This is called Cutting a Midnight mullet. Don't tell my mom or Brad Mondo. Well, I'm here. I've been told. We're doing something that there is a slight chance that I might regret. Yes. Um, Probably a large chance on that I one. I am going to cut myself a mullet. mullet. Yes. Mu I say mullet. It's not really a mullet. It's more of like a modern 70s shag. shag which shag. is like a little mullet because it's exactly. longer shorter in the front. The best stuff always happens to your hair when you're bored. Or the worst stuff. I guess mostly really bad stuff happens to your hair when you're bored. I guess probably not a great time to cut a mullet. I'm going to section off my hair and I'm going to try to do Woo! really, really clean section. Oh, hope the lighting is okay for you guys. I love to hear that. That was like music to my ears, baby. That was like a good song. You said you're going to do sections and you're going to do clean sections. And I went, oh, stop hitting on me. I'm gay. I'm going to start low because you can always take off more, but you can't put it back after it's gone. Right. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna be so happy with this. I already know it. I feel like this is gonna look so good. Yo, you just cut that off. You just did that. Oh no. It's gonna look good. I really do think that it's gonna look good. I do too. It's so weird. Oh, she's going real short with this. That's fun. That looks good. That's really fun. Her friend is so supportive. It looks it looks really good. It looks really good. Like I said, hey, Brad Mondo, it's mullet season. <laughs> it is mullet season, baby. It's mullet season all year round. Uh. That is much scarier because I have no like protection. Let's take down my hair and see if I start crying. It didn't um, make a difference so at all. I have to, to agree. It kind of looks the same. Bangs. Right now. You have to cut way more. I'm going to make my bangs start about here. Yeah. So that they're really thick. That's a good decision. The bangs start, ooh, grow back here and go forward. Yeah, it's important. This is going to come into its own um, and it's going to, it's going to come out nice, but I don't know what the journey is we're going to take to get there yet. I'll keep you updated on my feelings in, um, in a bit. I feel like I'm going to need to do this in two sections. How about that? Brad Mondo. <laughs> we'll do it in sections. Thank you. I'm glad she's using thinning shears. That way it's not too blunt and it gives more of a shag feel. Well, since I use my thinning shears, it's not gonna be a straight line. Wow, very clever girl. That looks like nothing happened at all. You're gonna have to take off a lot more. Just chop it off, girl. Just do it. Come on, we all wanna see it. Those are fun, cute mullet bangs. You're getting there. No, I'm gonna do the same this side on my bleach side where you can see that the hair actually looks like spider webs oh i can't so. wait to see those dead ends fall to the floor it's going to brighten my day beautiful beautiful okay so now she's going on the top layer and chopping away this is getting better it's getting into more mullets i'm getting happier feelings are starting to arise in me you know those mullet feelings that i get that i've explained to you this whole video you can see i'm just lifting up the hair over directing it up or to the side and snipping at the ends. And that's how I'm gonna get my layers. Oh, so you're a hairdresser now. All I hear was over direction, sectioning. You're speaking my language. More music to my ears, baby. Actually, what is working better is doing the same thing, but actually instead of using the shears. Yeah, you gotta take off a lot of that length, like I've been saying. You gotta just really go for it with this. That's a lot of hair. And I'm glad we're getting rid of it because it's Dead. These are my bangs down with my hair down, and honestly, it looks rad. She like, said she wished she had stopped here. I oh, f what I was going for, so I am into it. So I'm gonna take oh, f this top section of my hair, oh god, it away from bottom section of my hair, uh huh, so that I know that this top section of hair will be the only hair that I am cutting for the rest of this time, so that I know for certain that I am keeping all of this length back here. 
okay, decent plan. So she's just continuing to chop away and it's getting a little iffy. I don't even know where, where, what she's doing at this point. I don't know what, there, there's no sort of rhyme or reason it seems like to what she's cutting. Um, Just kind of taking pieces and just shredding them up, which is cool, which is definitely a look. Hi, hello. I do have a mullet. A real mullet, a full. Oh, sh Shaved sides. Oh, sh She mullet. did that. It's a full Billy Ray Cyrus. It's a mullet. <laughs> I saw, I see we did no, extensions. Is it what I thought it was gonna be? No, it's not. But I do like it and I think that it's fun. Hair is hair. So, like, I really am happy with it. I think it looks cool. Like, my bangs are really cool. Um, I regret gluing in the extensions a little bit, but those will probably last one wash and then come out. I could not have agreed more. I think it was way better without the extensions. I think your hair does not need to be that long. I think it was so much more cool when it was like a bowl cut shag moment. But I think it also looks great. And I think you're so f pretty and you know the mullet just really compensates your style and you rock it i love it i really really do just get rid of the extensions please and maybe just like shape it up a little bit better those are my two requests is that three requests i don't know something like that it, it looks great Three DIY mullets completed. They all looked incredible. I think my favorite mullet was Crystal. I mean, that hair color with that mullet. Like just so hot and so pretty and so everything I needed today. So thank you for that, Crystal. All of you looked amazing. Thank you so much for making those videos. I think we all very much enjoyed them. Make sure you guys follow me on all the different social media networks, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Bradmondo NYC. Make sure you guys check out my Facebook page and my Snapchat show under Brad Mondo. And obviously make sure you get beautiful, fabulous, glowing, perfect, healthy hair. With X Mondo Hair, you can check it out at xmondohair.com or head to our Instagram at xmondohair to check out everything we have in store. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. This is Force Field, our heat shield. Force Field will protect your hair up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Not only does this have heat protection technology in it, but we also have conditioning properties and hold properties. So that way your hairstyle will last you all day and all night and feel and look incredibly healthy and beautiful.